What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So um, this is another one of my tutorials that I'm doing because I had to put another video out on another channel. So I'm doing a series of short videos on this channel just to remind you of some SketchUp principles, show you how to model some things, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So today's video is talking about a function of the select boxes that a lot of people don't know about. And so in this case, what I want to talk about is I want to talk about the direction that you drag and what difference it makes. So a lot of people don't realize that the direction you drag when you're um, doing a selection box in SketchUp makes a difference. So like for example, if I click and then I drag from left to right, you can see how my selection box is basically made up of a single solid line, but if I click and drag from right to left, it's made up of a dotted line. Well, what that's indicating is that's gonna select in different ways. So when you click and drag from um, left to right, you can see how basically if I click across this box and I don't have anything fully within this box, then nothing's gonna get selected. That's because when you use a left to right crossing box, it's only gonna select things that are fully within that box. So you can see how in this case, if I click and drag from left to right around this box, everything gets selected. If I was to click and drag just kind of halfway, the only thing that would get selected is this line. However, if you click and drag from right to left, anything that gets touched by the selection box is going to get selected. So you can use this to select things like faces and lines without drawing this box all the way around here. And that's going to work the same way for like uh, 3D objects as well. So like for example, if I was to click and drag a box, all the way across here, basically the only thing that would get selected is these lines because those are the only things that are fully in the box. However, if I was to do the same thing and click and drag from right to left, you can see how everything my selection box touches gets selected. So you can use this to be very selective. <laughs> of uh, what you can select in your model. And that also works with groups and components. So like for example, right now if I click and drag from left to right and I don't put this box fully within this uh, selection box, you can see how it's not getting selected. But if I click and drag all the way across it, you can see how it does get selected. However, these other objects, even though I've dragged a box across them, it's not fully within the box. But if I do it from right to left, everything that gets touched, including those groups, is getting selected. So you can see how I can select all of these by just doing a quick little selection box dragging from right to left. That's where I'm gonna end this video. Remember to leave a comment below. Let me know if you knew about this tip, if you're using it. I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below but in any case thank you so much for taking the time to watch this i really appreciate it and i will catch you in the next video thanks guys